Hello, my name is Sean Hackett with Innovative Solar Solutions. Today we'll be talking about the Mastador power system. This system consists of five main parts. You've got the battery enclosure, the batteries, an inverter, a pre-wired E-panel, and a sub-panel for your critical load. As you can see, the inverter mounts directly to the E-panel door. When open, the E-panel is easily accessible for general maintenance. The E-panel has been pre-wired for ease of installation. There's basically only eight connections that have to be made to make this unit function. Power comes into the E-panel via a 30 amp breaker in the main panel. The energy is then run through the inverter and transferred to DC power to charge your batteries. In the event the utility grid fails and you need backup power, critical loads such as refrigeration, lighting, small air conditioning units, etc. can be maintained from the batteries via the sub. -power. Right now we have four critical loads that are being powered directly from the grid because it's actually bypassing the inverter. We're now going to demonstrate a utility grid failure by cutting off a 30 amp breaker to our inverter. As you can see, the inverter instantaneously recognizes that the grid has failed and begins to pull power from the batteries to maintain our critical load. In this close-up example, you can see that since there is no power being provided by the utility grid, we are strictly in inverter mode, which is basically drawing power that we have stored in our batteries to power our critical loads. Once the utility grid has come back online, you'll notice that the inverter immediately begins to draw energy from the grid in order to recharge your batteries, which have been used to power your critical loads. Sean, in the event of utility failure, what will the system do for the average consumer? Well, Mike, this system will power a small air conditioner, approximately one and a half small horsepower, refrigerator, uh, a couple of lighting points, and a radio for approximately six hours. So, Sean, this system has a couple of methods of charging the batteries. What are they? Uh, this system can be charged either using the utility grid or using solar panels. So, Sean, tell me, is this system best used for residential or commercial applications? Mike, I'd say both as well as developing world applications. Another nice feature of this system is that it's expandable by adding more batteries. 